Hi, good morning. The Million Dollar Rack was my first stop. There is a lot of bags in here. I did grab a couple of things. I will show you all. Um, if a lot of this would have been a little less expensive, I probably would have taken more. There's several Kate Spades um, coaches. The coach, the coach might be okay. Um, it's still a little pricey, but I do have a coupon, but it doesn't, it's not complete. It doesn't, you know, I'm going to put it, this one in the bag. It doesn't have the cross body, which is something I, I usually will look for. Um, I did grab some other ones. I did get a Kate Spade wallet. Um, this is a Patricia Nash wallet. Um, a little Dooney and Burke and a little like Kate Spade crossbody. Um, I haven't looked through anything, so I, I don't know for sure, um, you know, what I'm gonna take and what I'm gonna put back, but at least it gives you a little idea of where I started. Man, I you what? I need them up here. What? So that is oh, really? Yeah. So the woman at the register insisted on taking all of the bags from me because she has to hold them up there. Um, obviously that's, that's a new one, but, um, I definitely will have to look through them though because I don't want to take ones that have like damage and this and that on them. Um, oh, these Allegrias aren't bad and it doesn't look like they marked them up. So I might take those. Oh, that's cute. Look at the little tree of life on the side. All right, so we will take those. And then what are these? No, I'm not gonna take those. So they did put out a bunch of new stuff. So I will have to look and see. These are Life Strides. Um, what else do they put up here? So what are those? No, I've seen those before. Oh, these are pretty. What are these? These are eye flexes. Um, oh, they've got some damage at the top. Okay, so I'm gonna put those back. And we'll go over here. All right. So let's go back here and see. Maybe if they push some stuff, um, push some stuff in here. Oh, that's pretty. I wonder what that is. That's pretty. I like the plaid on it. Who makes it? Oh, it's Fossil. Okay, so this is Fossil. Um, it's got a little stain inside of it, but it doesn't look too bad. And it is like the type of material. Well, actually, maybe that stain is a little worse than I thought it was going to be. I think I'm going to have to put that back. Yeah, because... Um, those little stains will come out of like a fabric inside, but if it's that polyester inside, they just don't come out very well. So that one's new with tags. Um, you know, I am looking for tote bags and, you know, things that are like L.L. Bean and this and that. Oh, that's pretty. What is that? Okay, I am not familiar with this brand, so I'm gonna take this. This is made by well, let's see, who's it made by? Rolando? I will do a little more look up on that and see if what I can figure out. I like the red though, the red is really pretty. Um, this bag behind it, I'm not sure what this is either. Okay, so that's a no. I can see over here, there is a, um, a long chomp. I don't know if it's going to be real or not. I'll know. I'll know when I pick it up if it's real or not, though, because the weight of it. Nope. It is not real. It is. It is. Is a knockoff, which is a shame because it. Yeah, this one is not the real one. Darn. Well, that. I thought I was going to get lucky and find a nice long chomp bag today. All right.
All right, so we're gonna look through here. Let me see what this brown one is. Um, that's a Kato bag. I thought it was gonna be a Brighton, but it's not. Um, I am gonna take, and I did see this, the Vera Pele. Um, that's a nice one. So I'm gonna take that once I can figure out how to get it unstrung from everything else. But look how cute that is. Now, I think that's just a little bit of dirt, so that should come off okay. So that I will, I will toss in the cart. Um, this is cute down here. I don't know what it is, though. Let me see what this is. This might be a generic. Yeah, it's a generic or something. It's kind of neat. Oh, well, the back is flaking off, but it's kind of a neat bag. So apparently they must have um, put out a bunch of stuff over here. That might be something. Let me see if this is a Patricia Nash. If it is, that would be a good one. I don't think so, though. Now, see, this is not a this is not a Patricia Nash, but I can tell you, it is a wonderful knockoff. Um, it's heavy, you know. The fabric feels like leather, but it's not. Um, it's not a name brand. Let's see what else we have. That's, that's a little Vera Bradley crossbody. Oh, that's kind of cute, but look at the strap. The leather's all come off on it. So we will leave that. Now, what is this? It says made in China, but you know what? I'm looking at it because I want to make sure it's not like a Lulu or something. I don't think that is a Lulu, but I'm going to take it off. I'm going to take it off just so I can take a quick look. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. This is pretty. Oh, it is coach. That is pretty. See, I almost walked right by this and didn't even look up. That's really pretty. And, and um, let me see what the inside looks looks on, how it looks on it. And it looks like it still has the zipper, the zipper pieces here. That is really cute. All right, I'm gonna put that in and see. It's got a little bit of wear on the corners, but I think it'll clean up with a little bit of leather polish. Um, I'll put that in and we'll, we'll check that. So sometimes it helps when you go back, back through and you take a second look. See this? is probably not a bad price for one that's this big. This is the large Vera Tote. It, it could be like a laptop bag, but it is very big. Um, I will put this in the cart and take a look at this one too, just because of the size. So we do have a few things over here. Let me see what is this. Is this oh that's all this that's a little Liz Claiborne. I was just making sure it wasn't a coach. I could tell when I picked it up though it wasn't heavy enough to be um, to be a coach. But um, you still have to look. What about this one? Can't really tell what that one is, oh back there. That's generic. That's not going to be anything. Okay, that I think that's a that's a Vera Wang. I've seen that before. So, all right, I'm going to go through a couple of these things, and then I'll come back and we'll go through the shoes. All right. 
Oh, these are really cute. Okay, so I did come back around because I, I felt like I didn't go around enough. These are really cute little socks. I don't see a price on them, but I am gonna put them in because, you know, if you haven't figured out, I like I like socks. Um, so I'm going through the hats. It looks like they've had just a ton of stuff, you know, brought in. This is just a lot of stuff. Oh, that's pretty. That actually doesn't feel bad. I, I don't think it's, um, you know, I don't think it's a quality brand, but it's kind of a cute, cute little, um, quilted bag. Here's a little, this is a little sack roots. This is actually one of their older styles. Um, so this would be the, the $4 ones. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm going to leave this because it is missing the crossbody strap. So it's really not, it, it's nothing more than a wallet at that point without the strap to it. If you have the strap, then you could have your cell phone. Oh, look at these. Those are men's socks. Pair of thieves. That is really cute. I like them, but I don't know if I like them for three bucks. It looks like here's another pair over here. Two left feet. Oh, what does that say? It says something about doggies. The best therapist has fur and four legs. I could, I completely agree with that. The, the happiness with the fur babies is exactly what that is. That is very true, but they're still $3 a a thing. So when I came in the other day, I got some really nice, um, f oh, these are nice. These are actually, I think somebody was trying to hide these puppers. These are some Clarks. Um, but look at how pretty the suede is on those. They're definitely a bigger size. Um, yeah, it just needs a little, I think I am gonna, I'm gonna grab those little Clarks. I love that color. It's a nice taupe color. Um, so we'll come over here. And we'll look up here and see if they dropped anything else in here that we we need to look at. Sometimes they um, just put some nice stuff in here. Sometimes it gets separated from the front, so you might find stuff in here. We've got some Marvel hats. Um, I am no longer really buying um, baseball caps. I kind of have stopped buying those. I was getting I was getting a getting um a few of them for a while but they they don't i'm not a they don't sell great for me i mean sure i'll pick them up if they're if they're cheap but they're they're not a great seller not in not for me at least oh that's kind of cute what is this this is a this might be a is this a brighton no this must be like a vera wang or something it's cute but it does have some damage on the inside so I am going to grab the other ones. I have a feeling too today, I'm going to have to really look through the belts. Oh, look at that. We got a little Pikachu, a little Pikachu. It's missing like the little belt part though. A little Pikachu right there. Um, what is this? This might be like a Charming Charlie's. This is a, oh, it's a, actually I was close. It was, a, it's a Forever 21. Okay. So that's kind of a similar idea. Let's go, let's go over and look at the belts over here. See if we like anything. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I did see something I like. Now, as usual, as soon as I start doing this, you you all know I will knock everything off of this rounder. I am trying real hard not to. This is an L.L. Bean belt. I don't know if it will clean up. It, I mean, it doesn't even look like it was worn. Oh, you know what? It was worn just right on the end. Okay, so we can put that back. That won't, that won't work very good for us. Oh, that's kind of neat too. I have been seeing a lot of these, um, a lot of these type of belts lately where and I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, where the belts, oops, see, there again, I dropped them, where the belts um, stretch. So this is, it doesn't say who it's made of, but the, the belt stretches. It's really a nice tight weave on it too. So it's real sturdy. Um, I think that's kind of neat, you know, just because, you know, belts, belts um, sometimes don't fit the right way. But if you, I guess if you have a little extra stretch in it, then it, it makes it kind of nice. 
you know. I didn't get the um, the Greg Norman last time I was here. I probably should have grabbed those, honestly. Oh, look at this. We even have a, a Beatles tie. Interesting. The material's not good, though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a white album faces, a Beatle product. Oh, 1997. You know what? I'm going to grab this and look it up because it is new on, I, I, I do believe it is new. I don't think it's a huge, great quality, but because it's from 1997, I think I'm going to take a look and see, um, see what else that is. Um, ties can be good, um, especially if you find some of the the Italian ties or um, the higher end brand. Um, I, I like, I love the Brooks Brothers ties. They don't sell that great for me, um, but I do, I do um, check the ties every, every, every so often. But um, yeah, those, these aren't, none of these are speaking to me. And usually the funny part is, is I can pick off as I, when I, I can usually pick off the ones that I, I know I'm going to want. It's, it's, I've, I kind of know patterns and color tones of, you know, what, what what's going to be what, but I think I'm going to just stick with that one. Um, I did grab a little piece that was sitting off to the side. I just thought, I love the colors in it. It's kind of like a wall hanging piece. I don't know anything about it. So um, obviously it will be something that I'll have to look up. I am going to come over here into the, the shoes and things like that. Um, so we'll just come over here. Beach by Matisse. Those are kind of cute. Um, I do see some Sam Edelman's down there, but um, I don't think I like those as much. These Ann Kleins, these Ann Kleins are very cute. I haven't drifted a lot into the Ann Kleins. Um, I think I'm going to leave that one. I really like, I, I'm, I'm, I really like the Eileen Fishers. Um, I seem to really, um, I go and buy a lot of the Eileen Fishers. So it's been hard for me to, you know, pick up some of the other brands just because I, I really do look for, the quality and the condition um it really does count and we we talked about it in, in um in the comments of one of my videos people are like you 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 put stuff back so easily i do because i want to make sure that the things i'm buying that you know and it's not a perfect world but i'm i i don't want them to be sent back to me because there was damage or the quality wasn't good so I, I probably do spend a little more time making sure that that's not going to happen. Uh, these have some damage. Those are really cute too, but they do have some damage at the front. So I'm going to put those back up there. And those are koi. I've seen koi shoes before, but they're not. See, now see, this is what I'm talking about. The Munros. Very, very high end. Very expensive. Um, I will put these in the cart and I will check them because that is a very expensive brand right there. Um, so I'm going to come down here and see if I see anything else that catches my attention. Um, I do have some great shoes in my, um, in my eBay store. There should be a, um, a, like a link floating around. Carl figured out how to put a link in the video. So that's, that was helpful because, you know, I would never have been able to figure that out. So I do appreciate the fact that he, he has that ability. Um, I want to see. Oh, these are nice. What are those? Oh, hush puppies. Okay, it's kind of an interesting uh, texture. Got some puppy shoes. Ooh, these are pretty. What are these? Those are pretty. Now let's see if we can figure out what these are. Well, oh, they're Tevas. Man, I like those. Now, see, they may look a little distressed, but they're supposed to look that way. I like that. I like that look. I like the, the darker the darker t toe tip, the lighter on the thing. Um, I'm going to look those up. They did not mark them up at all. Um, I really do like the, 
the color on that. You know, like I said, just a little bit of leather um, cleaner polish. And, you know, they are what they are. They are a, a distressed booty. But some, some people like them not to be so perfect. They like a little bit of the, the character of them having a little bit of wear to them. So, and, and they're, they're a heavier piece. So they, they are a, a nice, in my mind, they're a nicer quality. I have sold Tiva boots before. Uh, the funny thing is, is I've never sold a pair of Tiva sandals, but I have sold the Tiva boots. So, what are these? Mercanti Florenti, made in Brazil. Oh, those are cute. Little driving shoes. Let's see what the backs look like. You know what? Believe it or not, this is the first time I'm going to say this. I'm going to leave them, and not because I don't like them. They've got a bit of a smell to them, and I'm not... I'm not liking that. Okay, now this is definitely a vintage pair of Brighton sandals. What are they? Oh, five, the Ariane's. Look at the black and brown on that. Um, I do think they're a little more worn than I would like, especially because the brown the brown is coming off. I can see it's it's flaking off right there, and once it's flaking, I it, it just it, it's not going to stop. So I, I have to put those back. What are these? Oh, these are Mia's. Oh, I do like these. Okay, so these Mia's are the the wood block, um, kind of the fake wood block. These are I, I do like those. I'm gonna put those in. These these remind me a lot of the candies, like when we were growing up, the candy shoes. So I'm gonna put those in my cart. Okay. Now we'll come down here and we'll look to see what those are. Oh, those are White Mountains. Those are interesting. What are these? Okay, those are the pole, the north, I think they're like North Pole or something like that is what those are. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and see what these are. That's a generic pair. And there's a pair of uh, Kine sandals. Those are okay. All right, well, I guess we're We'll turn around and we'll check out the other side. I did see these dance coats the other day, but they had a lot of wear on them, so I, I didn't take those, and they're still here. So that kind of tells you that if there's a lot of wear and I'm not taking them and they, they're still here, then other people are agreeing that there's a lot of wear on them. What are these? Oh, those are nice. Now these are men's. These are Uggs. They're Uggs. Um, I don't think I want to pay. I don't think I want to pay that price for them. They are a size 12. Definitely a men's. Very large. I, I'm gonna check, but I have a feeling that those will probably be a no. Um, just because of the price on them. But we'll see. You never know. I mean, I, I know. I know. Brand new. They would have been super expensive. Which one? The teeny one. Okay. So these are. Oh, these are Brooks. Those are nice. I like these. These are actually in very good condition, too. Well, I'll have to check those, too, because those are in good condition. So now we're in the, now we're in the men's section. They mix it in sometimes, though. It's not always, always men. Sometimes it does get mixed in. I've just been seeing a lot of brands over here that have been knockoffs of other brands. It, it throws me off when I see that, because it's like I look at the shoe, and I... I say, okay, I know what that's what that is, and I pick it up, and it's something totally different. So, a lot of copies, a lot of copies. Okay, so, oh, here's another pair of Allegrias. Um, these are cute. Now, see, the price on these isn't bad. They did mark them up a little, but it's not bad. But because of that toe the toe bed. I mean, if it would clean up easily, I would probably say yes, but I'm going to say no to that because it looks like the material has worn off on, on the front part. So, you know, when you, when you guys are asking me how I make my decisions, that's how it is. You know, I mean, yes, it could be cleaned up, but if the materials actually come off of the footbed, you know what? Yeah, you can see where it's wearing off under where the toes were, the oils and the feet and stuff, it started to wear. So I'm going to leave those, but I am going to, um, I think I'm going to head towards the back and, and we'll, 
We'll see if we get some luck and see some carts back there. My, my friends are back there um, putting stuff out, so we might get lucky and see some carts out there, which would be great. Oh, that's pretty. What's this one? Kenneth Cole. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. It's, um, oh, that's pretty too. It's unseasonably, oh, I like that. It's unseasonably warm right now. Um, we, ha we had this one, I think we're going to have like one or two days where it's like 65, almost 70. And um, it's, it's throwing me off because I'm, um, I'm not adjusting to it. Oh, that's really pretty too. Graham and Spencer velvet. That is very pretty. It's, it's very small though, but that is really a nice looking jacket. So I think, um, I'm not th seeing anything. Pirate's Cove. Made in the Philippines. Okay. And good. Okay. I saw the good fellow before. Let's go to the back. Um, I haven't done any type of um, re recheck yet. It is getting a little more crowded in here. Um, so I probably will be trying to find a little place. Oh, that's trying to find a place to hide. Cosmo G. That is a seriously nice quality jacket. Um, it is Asian sized though. I can see the little markings um, over there, which would mean that it would, I would really have to worry about it coming back if, if it didn't fit someone, um, cause the sizing would be very, uh, it's harder for me to do that because, you know, when they, when you, you go to their sizing chart and they say, okay, it's this size, it ends up being smaller than, than what they advertise. So I do end up having to that one's really pretty. Now, see, this looks like something I would like. Well, you know, we'll put it in the cart because, you know, why not? We're, we're out and about today. I'm going to have a... Oh, that's pretty, too. Look at that. Jones, New York. It's a quilted brown velvet jacket. That is gorgeous. I don't know... I don't think I've ever sold Jones, New York, but that Jack really is a very pretty one. And here is an Eddie Bauer tall. That's pretty too. Wow, people are dropping off some really nice jacks. Yes, they've marked them up a little bit. Um, you know, I don't buy a lot of clothes, but um, uh, there might be there might be one or two things that I will take with me, depending on you know what they are. It could happen. Corette is, is, um, used to be a really nice selling ladies brand, uh, expensive. They used to have stores too, but I don't think they're, they're as, as they don't sell like they, they used to. I mean, it just seems like everything over here is, is Eddie Bauer, Ralph Lauren, L.L. Bean, really nice brands. I probably shouldn't uh, be over here because I know that the the minute I get through that, I'm gonna start shopping for myself. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we'll move on. I can always do that later. I've already got a full cart, so it's gonna take me well. <laughs> so, you know, that's, that's how I start my day. All right, so we will come over here. Parts over here. So I know sometimes you guys see things that I don't. So feel free to let me know if you see something that, you know, maybe it might be something that I'm just not familiar with. They do still have all the Christmas on the ends. Oh, the Pier 1 Imports is pretty. Um, so they have kept all that on the ends. Oh, look at this little guy. That is really cute. Is that a, well, I bet you it's a leptin or, you know what? I'm going to take him. I don't do a lot of um, St. Patrick's Day stuff, but that is just really sweet. It's a little bell, 
Um, it, I think it's $3.99. It's Lefton. It's got the Lefton sticker in it. So you know what? I don't see any damage on him. It's kind of like a little pixie St. Patrick's Day guy. So I'm going to stick him right here. And we'll, we'll take him. It looks like somebody might have had an owl collection. This is an Andrea Sadik. Um, I don't buy her stuff anymore. Um, this is, oh, this is actually a towel, fine bone china, but I can see there's a broken branch right there. So I don't, I don't buy Andrea Sadik anymore, but um, I might've bought the towel. Um, these birds look like um, hers too. Yeah, these are Andrea Sadik. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take any of those. So we'll, we'll go over here and we'll see what else that they have. I do have another stop to make later, so I, I will have to kind of be a little quicker here than normal. Oh, the owl cup is phenomenal. Oh, oh my goodness. I love, 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 love. Wow, this is a pottery cup. Oh, that is very cute. You know what? That's going to have to go in my in my cart. Well, let me I got to find somewhere safe to put him so he doesn't fall out. I would hate to lose him. He's really gorgeous. Um, okay. And then we do have and we have the cat mom, but the front of that one is this one is wearing off, so that one we can't take. Um, Broadsword Comics, Spellarella. I'm not familiar with that, but I, I'm, I think I'm gonna leave that. I do see another mug back here that is very interesting looking. I think that might, it's just an oversized mug. Um, you know, I do, like I said, I, I do stop. I used to I used to like to do more glass, I really did. Uh, but I got to the point where, oh, the woof, it's got a, it's got a crack in it. Um, I got tired of having to ship it. I think that's what it was. So I don't sell as much glass. Oh, those are cute little Hallmark snowflake bowls. I bet you those are old too. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna put those in my cart. And then I did see these and I'm not exactly sure what are these. Starlight candles. Oh, those are gorgeous. You know what? I'm gonna take those and put those in the cart just to do a quick um, look up on that. You know, so. Maybe as, as I'm telling you, I don't do a lot of glass. Maybe I'll be doing some glass this week. I guess I could put it in on this jacket. It's, those, are, those are quite heavy. Um, these are not heavy, but they're not gonna go anywhere. So I'm just gonna walk back over here. So, you know, if you're ever out and about, um, Hallmark has become very collectible and it doesn't really matter if it's an ornament if it's one of their figural pieces um oh that's a pretty starbucks mug this is a las vegas mermaid that's kind of an interesting one i don't think i've ever seen that it looks to be in very good condition it does say las vegas on the front but the mermaid is it's a ceramic mug it's not plastic it is it is ceramic as i told you i, I think somebody must have had an owl collection because I'm seeing owls all over this, all over this store. Um, so I think what we'll go ahead. I think what we'll do is um, I'm gonna head back to the front. I'm gonna do a recheck of everything I have in in my cart, and then I have to get the wallets from the front from the front desk and look through all that and see if I'm gonna take any of that. Um, a couple of things were priced a little high. It's so much easier for me when I put them in my cart and I can make a decision. But I guess if they're not going to let us take them anymore. One world, one dream. Friendlies. I don't know what these are. I'm, I'm curious though because like I said, if, you're, if, if you do a lot of like Hello Kitty or anime or things like that sometimes these 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 things can be very collectible um like here's the paddington bear but he's got a big old scratch on him but i do love some paddington bear so i guess we'll so we'll go down there oh the nutcracker candle holders are very pretty too but i don't think i want to do any more of a box that large. Um, I don't think 
I think I'm gonna move I'm gonna move on to the front and do a quick recap figure out what I'm gonna take and what I'm gonna put back okay I'll see you guys in a little while Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick recap of the items I got today at the Goodwill. Um, I did get some uh, a, a pretty interesting group of items. Okay, so I did get um, three wallets. Um, I did get a, like a Kate Spade and a Patricia Nash and a Dooney and Burke. Um, I think the Kate Spade is going to go to my mom because her birthday is coming soon. So I think she's going to get that one. I did get a pair of Sam Edelman little white uh, leather tennis shoes. I got a One World. These are um, these are actually from the Beijing Olympics. Um, I bought those. I guess it must have been like a souvenir from the Olympics. So I did grab that. I got myself a Beatles tie. I got a pair of Teva boots, some Allegrias. I did get a pair of Brooks, uh, Starbucks. This is actually really cool. This is a mermaid um, Las Vegas coffee mug. I did get the little, um, <laughs> the little uh, bell, the little, um, I don't know, St. Patrick's Day bell. I just thought he was cute. Um, I love, love, love this owl mug. So I did end up with that. I did get this Chicken Creek um, wall hanging. I ended up with a cartonier jacket and a really nice, um, this is like a houndstooth um, coach purse. So I grabbed that too. Um, I spent a total of $84 at the Goodwill today. So it was a pretty good day. You know, not a, not a ton of stuff, but you know, by the time I went through and you guys saw the the um, million dollar rack at the front of the store, it was packed again. But um, when the purses are parked, park, you know, priced at like 45 or $40, it doesn't make a lot of sense to buy. But when I can find purses in there, or uh, actually I found this on the wall um, in the back and this was only um, $12. So that to me was a really good one. And then the little, the little wristlets and stuff like that, I think these were each eight, but honestly they're all in like brand new condition. So there's um, my reasoning for the things that I bought. So as usual, I really do appreciate you watching. If you have questions or wanna leave me a comment, please do. Um, you you can uh, click on the link to see the eBay, um, my eBay shop. Um, also, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. It really does, it does help me and I truly do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye.